Today I'm going to be watching this video, it's called Why Norway is one of the best destinations in the world. So, interested to learn more about why people travel to Norway. I'm sure, I know there's a lot of beautiful places, a lot of great nature, some awesome cities as well. Uh, looking forward to learning more, let's watch. Welcome. Let me tell you about the land of supernatural beauty. A country of mystery and unmatched charm. Whoa. Tell me where that is. That's what I mean. Like, I don't think there's many countries in the world, if any, that has such beautiful natural landscapes. Look at this waterfall, just the how breathtaking and imposing this sort of cliff face and the beautiful water. Stunning place. Tell me if you know where that is. My name is Stig Bergsten, and I make one of the best gins in the world. Bergsten Botanical Gin has won many international awards for its taste. People ask if it's the lingonberries or the elder flowers that create this distinct flavor. But the real secret ingredient is actually the terrain of Norway itself. I use Norway as my garden to forage for my botanicals and herbs. Let me show you my Norway and why so many fall under its spell. I'm going to bring you to the best places to taste, see, and connect with the history of this enchanting country. I will recommend you to go around. Rent a car and go from place to place. Then you will experience more of what Norway has to offer. On this journey, I'm taking you to Bergen, the west coast up to Trondheim, and down to Oslo. So beautiful, stunning roads, uh, stunning like things, but like, yeah, what would you recommend if someone wanted to go to Norway, would you say to them to go to the city or would it, is it like a necessity to get a car and just go through the countryside? From my limited knowledge, I feel like that's a must that you drive around the, the country, that's like probably where you're going to see some of the most beautiful, uh, unique sites. Uh, tell me about that. Tell me if you're Norwegian, if you like to just drive around the country and see all that natural beauty as well. In my opinion, Bergen is the most beautiful city in the world. And I recommend to explore the narrow streets of Bryggen, smell the fish market, take Fleuban and admire the view over this beautiful city. Mm. Norway is known for its seafood. We export 37 million meals a day. The best way to enjoy local seafood is here with Marianne from Bergen Fjord Adventures at Villa Vastra. My name is Marianne. Here at Villa Vastra, we serve the fresh seafood Norway is known for right by the Atlantic Ocean. The traditional diet on the West Coast is heavily dependent on seafood. There are many kinds of fish soup, and one you absolutely need to try is the traditional Bergen fish soup. Mm. It's made with heavy cream, mussels, fresh fish, and vegetables. It's actually making me like hungry, almost salivate just watching this. Like I'm from Scotland, so we're at the other side of the Atlantic, of course, and we have great seafood, but Norway's has that reputation for just being another level, the salmon, all this beautiful seafood. Is that your favourite type of food in Norway? What's your favourite type of Norwegian food? What are you most proud of? That looks, I mean, the location, the food. A couple everything. of fjords oh. north and a bit to the east, you will find Luen Valley, known for its green glacier water and fantastic mountains. Oh my goodness. Here That's in it. Luen Valley at the Kjernlastova, you can actually have fish, fish this morning, eating in this uh, fantastic view. When you're done eating, oh. you can just stroll over to the glacier just behind oh us. Oh my goodness. On the other side of the glacier, you will find Gudbanen. Norway is, of course, known for its Vikings. Here in Gudbanen, there is a Please. Viking village. The Vikings were excellent navigators. And it's commonly known in Norway that the Vikings were the first Europeans who set foot in America. Even the notorious warriors who dedicated their days to earning their place in Valhalla needed the domestic comfort of life. Mm. Many people think the Vikings were just savages, 
But here you can experience the softer side of the Viking traditions. The Vikings were also great craftsmen. They are particularly known for the woodwork, which includes ship making and wood carvings. Wood carvings were commonly used on their homes and their ships. When you are done with the Viking boats, try taking a modern one. Norway is full of fairies. Yeah, I just wanted to say about that location there, like where it was, like in the middle of these like beautiful mountains beside the water. Uh, I feel like in a lot of countries they would, on that part they would be building like luxury hotels, luxury apartments and so, that sort of thing to take advantage of that beauty and sell it to people. But the fact it's just paying respect to that important part of Norway's history and it's very subdued and peaceful. I, I respect that so much. Well, in Norway, you will take a ferry or two. We have 130 of them. Uh, every time you take a ferry, you will definitely have a svela. What is that? Like this some ferry sort of is taking us towards Trondheim in central Norway. Trondheim is the third largest city in Norway. It is known for its historic architecture and is great for visitors who want to experience inner city trails. In Norway, we are passionate about Friluftsliv, the experience of outdoor recreation and time in nature. Trondheim is great for the travelers who want to experience both Friluftsliv and city life. This is Nidarosdoma. It's a Gothic medieval cathedral in the city center of Trondheim. Actually, there is a saying that the cathedral is not finished. There is one of the small sculpture here holding the last stone. And if they finish it, the whole of Trondheim will go into the fjord. Mm -hmm. At least that's what the myth is saying. That's cool. Then we move south and 3,000 feet up in the mountains of Jotunheimen, where you find Vianman. If you want to stay in a higher altitude, this is the place. Here you can experience authentic Norwegian food in this amazing mountain Ooh. landscape. And the best of all, you will meet this legend, Arne Brimi. Brimi is a famous culinary icon. From 1995 to 2002, he was a chef and a co-host of a popular TV show. He is the embodiment of traditional Norwegian food and is a household name across Norway. My name is Arne Brimi. I'm a head chef and the founder of Vianvang. Uh, this is a remote restaurant in the great Jotunheimen. Vianwang is made to be best, but to take care of something we are missing more and more, and to, to make a little difference. Today, all over the world, wherever we go, we meet fast food. I think that's not good. I think we have to be closer to the gastronomy to understand part of the freedom that uh, the nature give us. Mm, that food looks fantastic. On our way towards Oslo, we find Trollstigen. You have never experienced a true scenic drive until you've driven down Trollstigen. I've and seen that road before to on videos you find it just looks amazing. Arena. Wow. Here you can experience Ibsen's dramatic poem, Pergin in this spectacular oh. outdoor theater. Every summer, crowds flock here to witness Norway's most famous play. Yeah, tell me if you've been there. Norway just has so many unique things to do and it's all about the beauty of the country. Like, if you're Norwegian, tell me how proud you are that you have such a beautiful country. Many of the Norse gods were characterized by the weather. Everyone is familiar with Thor and his lightning bolt. But we also have Frey, the god of good weather. Occasionally, he smiles upon mm -hmm. us. The weather can shift faster in Norway. There's a lot of rain, but that makes the sunny days better. Same in Scotland as well. And there is no better place to spend a sunny day than here in the capital city of Oslo. Norway's biggest city is where you find the famed Opera House, the Royal Palace, and the Vigeland Sculpture Park. It took the artists more than 40 years to finish this park. Oslo is known for a lot of good restaurants, bars, and a fantastic nightlife. Now we are sitting at Pier 42. I love it because of the hospitality, but also they make a fantastic dry martini with using my gin.
Just around the corner, you find restaurant Rest. Rest is definitely living by the saying, one man's trash, another man's treasure. My name is Jimmy Eyen, and I'm the head chef here at restaurant Rest in Oslo. We turn waste food into a fine dining experience. Food waste is a huge problem in the whole world and also here in Norway. So what we do here at Restaurant Rest is that we use all these weird shaped vegetables, weird species of fish and also the weird pieces of meat. Food waste potentially robs us from extraordinary tastes and experiences. Mm. Our ambition is to bring such experiences to you here at the restaurant. It's like such a clever idea as well, not just that, the way they're executing it is such a high standard. Food, as, as I said, food waste is just such a problem, like all over the place. Seeing dumpsters filled with food is just such a shame, but they, these guys are taking that and really elevating it, making it a very unique experience. You've got to give them credit for that, that's fantastic. Heading north again, towards my cabin, we pass through some car tunnels. We have over a thousand of them. There's not only car tunnels and ferries here in Norway. There's also a lot of roadside art. Like here in Gudbostal, you have flock. After a long day of exploring Norway, you'll need a coosly place to rest your head. Renting a cabin is a great way to stay. It's part of our culture and you get close to the nature. Brown cheese is a big part of our cuisine. When in Norway, you'll definitely see this cheese that was invented in 1863, just around the corner from our cabin. Mm. Tell me how that tastes. For breakfast. Mm. Come and explore Norway and find your own hidden gems. Thank you for following us on this journey around Norway. Remember to subscribe to Lonely Planet's YouTube channel. Comment below what you would like to explore in Norway. I mean, that is like a fantastic uh, view, a fa fantastic look at Norway, like just all over the country, from the cities to the, the more remote areas, everything in between, all the food, culture, such a stunning place. Like, if that doesn't make you want to go to Norway, I don't know what would, man. Like, great stuff. Tell me if you're from Norway, how do you feel about that? What's your favourite part of the country? Thanks.